Hey, what's going on, pilots? Trigger here, and today we're going to be going over the FA 18C Hornet. And today we're going to be looking at the air combat maneuvering modes or ACM modes for the F 18 Hornet. Now, the Hornet uses the AN APG 73 radar, and it's a pulse Doppler look down, shoot down radar with both BVR and close in ACM modes, which are the beyond visual range and air combat maneuvering modes of operation. So, what does all that mean? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at it here, what it all means. The radar air combat maneuvering or ACM modes are close range visual acquisition modes that allow the pilot to acquire targets into single target track or STT lock visually by referencing only the HUD or the HMD. The ACM modes are only available in the AA or air to air mode. And before we get any further, let's go ahead and take a look at the key bindings. So the key bindings that we're gonna need are the sensor control switch forward, right, aft, and left the undesignate nozzle steering button, the cage uncage button, and the gun trigger to go ahead and fire the gun or the missiles. So the ACM submodes on the Hornet are the gun acquisition, bore sight, vertical acquisition, and wide acquisition, which has two modes, the cage mode and uncage mode. And if we have a Jahamix or joint helmet mounted queuing system, we have the helmet acquisition mode and the long range helmet acquisition mode. All right, so now that we have the key bindings and know what to expect, let's go ahead and get into the cockpit. All right, so how do we enter the ACM mode? Well, you can use gun acquisition or you can use the sensor select forward switch to go into bore sight mode. So what we're gonna do here first is we're actually gonna do select gun to go into gun acquisition mode. So now that I hit the gun acquisition HOTAS command on my HOTAS, you can actually see there's a dashed circle in the hood and on the right DDI, it is boxed and it says ACM for air combat maneuvering mode. Now remember we selected the gun which puts the ACM mode into gun acquisition mode and it is automatically enabled when air-to-air -air guns is selected. This mode is represented as a 20 degree dash circle on the HUD that encompasses the entire HUD field of view. Unlike the other ACM modes, gun acquisition can only be used for guns. Gun acquisition searches for targets out to 5 nautical miles. So if you're behind a bandit in gun acquisition mode, you need to put the bandit into the HUD, into the dashed circle and it should automatically lock up that bandit. To unlock the bandit, you hit the undesignate or nose while steering button. But just remember, in gun acquisition mode, the radar is always in either ACM or single target track when the gun is selected, and it cannot be commanded to return to search from gun acquisition. You actually have to switch modes, as in going into a different ACM mode or change the weapon to return to RWS or TWIZ. But don't get too tied up with that at the moment. We're gonna go over plenty of examples later in the video on different ACM modes. Now you don't have to do this, but I went ahead and selected the AIM-120, which puts the radar back into RWS or range while search. And I went ahead and hit sensor select forward, which goes into boresight mode. So we can tell we're in the boresight mode by this dashed circle right here in the middle of the HUD. And it's a three and a half degree circle displayed on the HUD, which is now signifying we're in boresight mode. And just like we talked about, you can go into bore sight by pressing forward on the sensor control switch. When selected, a dash three and a half degree circle is displayed on the hood, and the circle indicates the radar's auto acquisition search zone. Bore sight searches the targets out to 10 miles. So if there was a band in front of us, we would want to put the bandit into this three and a half degree circle. It will lock him up into single target track mode. And just remember, in order to get into bore sight mode, you have to be in air to air mode in order to be able to press sensor select forward to go into boresight mode. Very important. So the next mode we're gonna go into is wide acquisition mode. In order to get into wide acquisition mode first, you have to be in boresight mode. So we're gonna be going sensor select forward and then immediately sensor select left, which goes into wide acquisition mode. Now we can tell we're in wide acquisition mode with this right here with the rectangle and the WACQ on the HUD. The wide acquisition is a space stabilized mode and is selected by pressing left on the sensor control switch. Upon doing so, a rectangle is displayed in the lower right hand corner of the hood. And this rectangle represents the auto acquisition scan pattern and can be slewed using the TDC controller when it's been uncaged. The rectangle is placed on the grid that represents the complete scan limits of the radar and the WACQ or WAC searches for targets out to 10 nautical miles. If we press the uncage switch, it goes into the uncage mode of WAC, and this is what it looks like. 
And now if we press sensor select aft, we go into vertical acquisition mode. And vertical acquisition mode is designated by the dashed vertical lines which are displayed here in the HUD. The vertical acquisition search pattern covers from negative 13 degrees to 46 degrees. And the vertical acquisition searches for targets out to five nautical miles. This mode works great if you're in a turn fight and the bandit is on your lift vector. Put in vertical acquisition mode and it should lock him up pretty quickly. Next, we turn on the HMD or the Jahamics here, and we're gonna go ahead and press sensor select forward. When you press sensor select forward, it goes into helmet acquisition, and you can see it says HACQ. And there's actually a dashed circle right here, which if we put this over a bandit, it should lock him up automatically in single target track mode if he's within 10 nautical miles and also within gimbal limits. Now I use the helmet acquisition mode quite a bit while flying online. And the other mode that we need to talk about now is the long range acquisition mode. And to get into long range acquisition mode, we're gonna hold the sensor select forward button for more than 0.8 seconds. And when we do that, we'll get an LHAQ here in the helmet mounted display. And we'll also get the same exact reticle which we saw previously. And we have to do the same thing, place the target into the reticle to lock him up in a single target track. Now in LHAQ mode, you can lock up to somebody 40 nautical miles away and within gimbal limits. Now, you know you're outside of gimbal limits when the reticle starts to flash. As you can see here as an example, when we look too far backwards, the reticle starts to flash, the LHAQ starts to flash, and the same thing if we look too far above us, the same thing happens. Which means you're outside of radar limits and you might have to reevaluate what you're doing. So enough talking, let's go ahead and do some demonstrations and some examples of using these ACM modes. All right, let's go ahead and put into practice what we just learned. So remember, very important to get into ACM mode, gun acquisition, or air-to-air -air mode with sensor select forward to go into bore sight. So it's very important that you remember that to get into the ACM modes. So the first one we're gonna do here is gun acquisition. So I'm gonna hit select gun, goes into gun acquisition, and all we have to do is put the bandit into the HUD. And there we go, he is now locked up, single target track. He turned into a diamond, so it means he's hostile. So if I select undesignate, it will undesignate the target. Go back to gun acquisition mode. And if I hit sensor select forward, it's gonna go into bore sight mode with the gun selected still. Lock him up. Now this time when I undesignate, he's gonna go, or the aircraft is gonna go back into gun acquisition mode. So undesignate, there it goes, gun acquisition mode. So let's go ahead and select a 120. So I hit select 120. And sensor select forward to go into bore sight. Same process here. Put it over the target. And boom, he's locked up. So I'm going to undesignate. And now I'm going to go into wide acquisition. So I'm going to go to sensor select the left. And you can see it says whack with the rectangle on the bottom right of the HUD. And remember scanning the horizon. Should be picking him up here any second. There we go. We just got him there. And if we undesignate, we're going to go back to the 120 in air-to-air -air mode. Just like that. Remember, it always reverts to your previous mode that you were in before you went into your ACM modes, except for gun acquisition. So remember, if we're in gun acquisition mode, it's always going to go to gun acquisition if you undesignate. So right now, sensor select forward. It's in bore sight. Got him. Undesignate. He's gone. Sensor slug left. We're in whack or wide acquisition mode. And boom, we got him there. And the last one is vertical. So I'm going to undesignate and do sensor select forward to go into bore sight. And then sensor select aft to go into vertical. And you want to use this one you're, when you're pulling G's. This is a good one to use for pulling G's on the lift vector with a bandit. And boom, there we go. So that's the vertical mode right there. We can also use the wide acquisition ungage mode. So if we're coming over here to the right of the bandit, what we can do is actually go sensor select forward, sensor select left to go to whack, and we can hit uncage. And when we hit uncage, it actually already locked him up there. So let's go back, sensor select forward, sensor select left to go to whack, and it's still getting them right there. So hang on, let me just get a little bit further right here back to whack and uncage and I can actually use the TDC 
as you can see right there. So he's all the way over here to the left. Let me unselect him again. Sensor select forward, sensor select left, go to whack. And we'll go to uncage. And when we're uncaging, we can actually slew the rectangle where we think he is. So we know he's over here to the left, so let's put the radar over to the left. And boom, he's already locked up. So the Chuck's Guide actually has some good pictorials on how to use the wide acquisition mode. So sensor select forward, sensor select left goes to whack. This is the cage mode. But if we uncage it, we can actually have control of the radar where we want to put it. So he's over here to the left. We know that. And boom, look at that. Already got him locked up. So undesignate. So the last modes here that we need to talk about is the HMD. And we're going to go ahead and put on the HMD. All right, so now if I do sensor select forward, it still goes into bore sight on the HUD, but you do see it says HACQ mode. So let's undesignate him. So sensor select forward, HACQ mode, and all I have to do is remember, put the bandit into the reticle. And you can see there's our data link contacts, which helps out a lot. Look at that, he's already locked up. And we can fire a 120 right now if we wanted to or an AIM-9. So let's go ahead and select the AIM-9s and we'll show you that. So AIM-9s are selected, the AIM-9Xs. We're still in HACQ mode. Let's put this over the bad guy here. Look at that. So we have a good solid tone. We can actually Fox a Fox 2 now if we wanted to. I'm gonna go ahead and undesignate him real quick. So again, HACQ mode. We have AIM-9 selected. Remember, use the data link. So if, we, if we're using the uh, HUD right now, or the HMD, you can see it says unknown with the bottom chevron, so it's hostile. So I can go boom, unlock, it automatically slaves the AIM-9X over, and I can fire that right now if I wanted to. I'm gonna undesignate, that cages the AIM-9X automatically. Now if I wanna go into LHA, or LHQ, LHAQ mode, for long range, we just hold sensor select forward more than 0.8 seconds, and you see it says LHAQ, and same thing, just put the bad guy over the reticle, and there you go. So technically, if you see a contact, like a data link contact, and he was like 30 miles out, you can technically use the LHAQ mode and get a single target track on him. You can be like, hey, there he is, single target track, Fox 3, what have you, Fox 1, whatever you want to do. So those are the modes right there. Now... So, bore sight, sensor select forward, we're in bore sight. We go sensor select left, we go into whack. And if we go sensor select aft, we go into vertical. Now, let's go ahead and undesignate that. So, if we go sensor select forward and try to do sensor select aft, you can't do it. It actually puts it into up look mode. And you can see it says up look now. And what this is, is there's not a lot of documentation on it at the moment. And I've been trying my hardest to find a lot of documentation, but what I can find is this is basically a fixed reticle in the lens. And when you're pulling high G's, you may not be able to move your head left and right, but you can tilt your head up and down. And if you put the bandit in one of these fixed reticles, it automatically locks up in the up lock mode. So. I'm not really sure if this is fully implemented in DCS right now, and it's mainly used for if you're under high G situations from what I could find. Now I'm sure some of you guys in the chat or uh, in the comments will be able to tell me what you think about the upload look mode, but from what I can see in the documentation that I found, it's usually used if you're under high G situations. So I don't use this mode right now because I don't think there's any uh, implementation right now or really any use for it if you will so holy cow that was a lot of information now i do have chapters set up if you want to go back and rewatch something now if i miss something please let me know if i got something wrong please let me know and again i do appreciate all the comments all your feedback i do read all the comments so please if there's something wrong please let me know or if you want to see something else please let me know again i do appreciate everything take care out there stay safe and we'll see you on the next one